the character of a man or a woman which makes a good man always want to do the right thing and in many instances the right thing is not convenient indeed it is very inconvenient sometimes doing the right thing can threaten your very life allow me a brief personal story one day when i was very young my political lecturer impounded the coffee cargo of a member of the first family at the time. He yeah, was the Jomo Kenyatta's family. And his colleagues looked at him very panicked and in alarm. Do you know whose coffee this is? My political lecturer's response it doesn't matter. I have to do my job. I have a conscience, he told them. And he impounded that coffee. And he received threatening calls. Wewe mwikamba, sijuli toka wapi. Unafikiri wewe ni nani? Who do you think you are? The cargo remained impounded under lock and key with very tight security and then his boss his direct boss the police commissioner called him and ordered him to release that cargo immediately my political lecturer's response sir i am sorry sir but my conscience cannot allow it and the police commissioner himself had to come all the way from his office and personally release that cargo. And as a young boy, I was in primary school, I noticed for a number of weeks when my dad drove me to school, I always used to sit at the back, on the front passenger seat on the floor, he always had a fully loaded big gun. I was excited. Yeah, I thought this was really cool. A real gun in the car? Wow! <laughs> Little did I know that this was a man who was fearing for his life. Yeah, he was expecting any eventuality and he was preparing himself to defend himself against an assassination attempt. He would go to Mombasa on official duty from Nairobi and lied to his wife that he was going to Kisumu. He would arrive at the hotel yeah, officially booked for him by the government, yeah, check in and then sneak out through the back door and go and pay for another hotel under a false name. And he used to use the names of his brothers. Yeah, today he uses the name of the firstborn brother. Tomorrow he uses the name of the third born brother because he's a second born. And so on and so forth. And he did this so that he did not forget <laughs> what name he checked in under. Yeah, because if somebody called him Peter and he's John and he forgot, there'd be a problem. Any intelligence officers hanging around would know that there's something wrong and they would be on to him. So many inconveniences just because he did the right thing. And growing up, I was convinced, you know, when all these things uh, dawned on me and I understood, started understanding, I told myself, this man, my father, is not smart at all. He's not clever. Why doesn't he do the convenient thing? Why put himself into all this trouble and anyway, Somebody else came and released the coffee. Why? It doesn't make sense. But friends, today, my view is of course very different. Yeah? And if I were to be honest with you, I would tell you that I feel that I do not deserve to have been the son of such a man of character. I don't. If Almighty God helps me 
to be only 20% of what that man was in terms of character, I'll be very grateful. I'll be happy. I'll be satisfied. 20%. <laughs> the character of a man